This is St. Sophia Cathedral in Kyiv. It's a landmark of architecture and art and UNESCO World Heritage Site. Князь Volodymyr began to build the cathedral, the one who baptized Kyiv Rus. And his son Yaroslav the Wise was the one who finished the construction. Yaroslav's daughters married many European monarchs. It was an honor at that time to be related to Yaroslav because he ruled a great and powerful state. And St. Sophia Cathedral was its masterpiece. Its construction was completed in 1018. And this is a swamp further north, where Moscow, the capital of Russia, is now. A settlement was here at that time, but it wasn't even called Moscovia. Nobody can provide any evidence of who lived there. Kyiv Pechersk Lavra another UNESCO World Heritage Site, a huge monastery complex in the center of Kyiv. It was founded in 1051, during the rule of Kniaz Yaroslav the Wise. And this is still a swamp further north, where Moscow, the capital of Russia, is now. A settlement was here at that time, but it wasn't even called Moscovia. Nobody can provide any evidence of who lived there. St. Michael's Golden Dawn Monastery in Kyiv. It was built by Kniaz Izoslav of Kyiv, the son of the same Yaroslav who built Sofia. The church was called the Golden Dawn Church because it was the only one in Kyiv that had gilded domes. Its construction began in 1108. And this is a swamp further north, where Moscow, the capital of Russia, is now. A settlement was here at that time, but it wasn't even called Moscovia. Nobody can provide any evidence of who lived there. Pay attention that Rus was Kievan, and Kiev itself, a grand city of well, swamps existed elsewhere and nobody could imagine that Moscow would appear there. The so-called Muscovia appeared when Kyiv had existed for centuries. Its founder is considered Yuri Dolgoruki. That message of the Kyiv Chronicle in which Moscow is mentioned for the first time is a passing mention as a small settlement which already existed hardly a long time ago, but nothing is said about the foundation. In fact, at that time, in the 12th, 13th century, it's still a town of little importance. The founder of Moscovia, Yuri Dolgoruki, several times waged war against Kyiv. He wanted to sit on the main throne. Twice he brought destruction. For the third time he was poisoned by his own people. After Yuri came his son, Andrei Bogolubsky. He also really wanted to become Kyiv Knyaz, and all he has managed to do was rob the city. Like all Moscovia rulers, Andrew was violent and cruel, even to his family and friends, and they didn't bear it either. Six months after the defeat of Andrei Bogolubsky near Vyshgorod, his own boyars murdered him in his own residence. History has a habit of repeating itself even after 850 years. Therefore, it's quite possible that Putin's current aggression in Ukraine will become a catalyst of internal processes in Russia. Putin, who now rules in Moscow, is doing the same as Yuri Dolgoruki and Andrei Bogolubsky. He wanted Kyiv, now, in order to take a range, the one and a half meter tall dictator wants to occupy, ruin, destroy Ukraine. Putin, like Dolgoruki and Bogolubsky, is cruel and violent to his subordinates. If those who now call themselves Russians knew their own history, they would already know what to do. However, learning is not their strong skill. <laughs> 